Welcome to DIYEasyCrafts.com. Today we're going to take a look at how to do a raised spackle wall stencil. A particular design that we're going to be doing is a compass rose, a nautical design. And this can be done with sp uh, spackle or stucco. Now the first step, um, I ran a line just with a level so I could get it you know, perfectly straight up and down. I then took uh, the stencil which I purchased. This is a reusable plastic stencil I got online and I sprayed the back side with stencil adhesive. This is very important. This adhesive allows you to uh, place the stencil on the wall and even reposition it if you don't get it right the first time. I then mixed up some fast dry spackle. I'm just using a quart container. And I, since I didn't want to have to paint this afterwards, I'm going to mix the color that I wanted. Um, this is just water soluble paint. I got it down at Home Depot right into that spackle and mix it up. You want this to end up like a thick soup solution or soupy solution. You don't want it thin enough where it's going to drip. And it's, it's nice because if it's too thin you can just add a little bit more of the spackle and if it's too thick you can add a little bit more of the paint. I positioned the stencil on the wall uh, looking at that light pencil line that I had drawn earlier. And then I, I did put some additional painter's tape just for security, just to make sure that it wasn't going to fall off on its own. And then with a paintbrush, I'm just going to lightly dab the mixture of spackle and paint on, on all of the open areas through the stencil. You don't want to push too hard because you will push the material underneath the stencil um, and it'll, it'll bleed. Now you don't have to use um, you know, the thickened material like I've done here. If you wanted to do it with just paint, you could certainly paint it. And again, you would just, you know, dab it lightly with the paint um, as thin as possible so that it doesn't drip. Um, if you want that thicker look to the, to the wall art, um, you can actually go back over it a couple of times and thicken it up a little bit. So the whole process really, you know, didn't take all that long. I, I took my time uh, just dabbing lightly. Uh, I spilled a little bit on the wall. It can very easily be cleaned up just with a dry rag and then a wet rag. And then when you're when you're all done, you know, after your second coat, if you if you want it to be a little bit thicker, you really want to walk away from this for for 10 to 15 minutes. Um, you want it to be just tacky, where you just maybe get a tiny little bit on your finger uh, when you touch it. You want to take it off while it's still tacky. You don't want it to, you know, to completely dry and then you'd have a hard time getting it off or, or possibly it would even chip. These stencils come in a, in a wide variety of designs also. This one I, I just searched on Amazon. I peeled it from the top and I was able to clean the stencil off so I could use it again just with a garden hose and a rag. But this is the final product, you know, very nice raised um, design created with a spackle and white paint. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, I ask that you please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this YouTube channel. I'd like to give you an invite to check us out on the web at DIYEasyCrafts.com. Have a whole assortment of do-it-yourself nautical related projects as well as uh, project, projects for the homeowner. Um, you know, just a, a wide variety of do-it-yourself projects. Thank you very much for watching.